this is me, Melorian, and this is going to be what I call a, a real talk type video. I'm going to have these kind of throughout the year. These won't be really War Machine related, just things really about me. So maybe I'm talking about diet stuff, maybe I'm talking about life stuff. Maybe like in this one here, I'm talking about YouTube stuff. So for those who don't know, there's been some changes in YouTube, and it's come to a head where I've had to make a decision. Now, for those who don't know, basically, YouTube was hit with this major lawsuit. Uh, they said that, hey, YouTube is not for kids, and so all this advertising that was going on was not really affecting them. Uh, but it turns out there are a lot of kids that are on YouTube. They're accessing these things. Huge, huge lawsuit. <clears throat> And now this is coming down to all of us content creators saying that we have to really mark our things down as whether they are for kids or not. And really the difference between them is that if you say it's not for kids, that means you're going to be getting some of the better ads. So that's really good for you. And why would you not want to do this? Whereas if you say it's not for kids, well, then you don't get those ads that are going to be targeting that youth. Okay, well that seems like you don't always want to say things that are for adults, however, the problem is, is that if you say that you have a video that is for kids, or sorry, it's for adults, but then kids go and access it, you can be taking this huge fine, it's like $40,000, and so really when it all breaks down, I decided to take the no risk approach, and I was going to say my channel is for kids because there's a potential that they could be watching, and hey, we're all kind of family friendly here anyway. Anyway, and the biggest thing is that I'm not doing this for money, right? Like for others, we're switching over this as a potential loss of like 80% of the revenue, blah, blah. I make peanuts on, on this, like almost nothing to the point that if I lost all my revenue, I would not even really even notice. It's like, oh, I didn't get my one check per two years or whatever it is. So like, who really cares, right? Um, who really cares until today because all of a sudden, and of course, this is the way this works, right? That as soon as I go and I decide to do something and it's like, here we go, we're going to be doing this new series. Well, wouldn't you know, the very same day, that's when they roll out the next measure, which is if you have videos that are marked for kids, comments are disabled. And this is because in the past they've had issues where people are going inside the comments trying to prey on kids. Like, hey, how's it going? Where do you live? You know, that type of thing, right? And so I understand it. I know what it means and why they're doing it. But what it means for me specifically is that my videos that I want to have interactive where I bring up ideas and we're talking through them uh, is not possible because all the comments are disabled and so that's horrendous. Uh, the comment section I feel on YouTube is absolutely critical because I got stuff in my teeth so it's not critical for that that's just me making weird faces on camera but it's critical because first of all if I put out content and there's something wrong in it and let's let's, let's face it I'm human I make mistakes uh, maybe I might be 98% correct at the time when you're watching me but that means I'm wrong the 2% and I need people to point that out send out comments so that not only do I learn but then also out there others can learn too well it's not only just that maybe people are put, putting in comments saying hey that was a good video on this but how does this work or hey why don't you make a video on this content or what did you think about this idea and there's this back and forth which is so so critical so based on that I had to make a decision on which way I want to go do I want to play it 1000% safe and say it's marked for kids or do I want to take a chance and say it's for adults and see where it goes and after thinking about it for quite a while well, what I really came to the decision was, is that I'm going to be marking my stuff as not for kids. So, I think the biggest thing that's going to be keeping me safe in all this is just the fact that I am a super small fry. When I was looking at kind of like the follow-ups because I was really in depth in this in the very beginning when it was announced but then when I made my decision to go kids I didn't really follow along uh, but thanks to those who sent me more information when I was trying to make these decisions today it turns out that really when you look at it they're not targeting people like me right they're targeting the big people that are really trying to sell stuff to kids I don't want to drop any names or anything like that but it's really not me I am a small niche of a smaller niche and it's just 
Nobody is really looking at Malorian trying to sell things to kids. And even if they were to look at the smallest of fish, I'm not trying to sell things to kids anyway. I guess maybe you'd say that I'm trying to get them to buy War Machine. I, oh boy, now I'm in trouble. But you get what I'm saying is that when you look at the risk factor, I'm not really who they're targeting. And so if the benefits of me saying I have an adult channel means that I can actually have comments and that over the year I can make two cents rather than one cent, why not? Uh, there is that small, small chance though that the, maybe some repercussions could come to me and maybe that means I have to shut down my channel, maybe I have to do whatever. But I think the main thing to look at here is that Odds are, if something was ever come to my level, there'd be warnings first. I could take actions uh, prematurely before there's any sort of fines. So when you really look over everything, my risk to being not kids, super, super, super minute. Um, another thing that I want to bring up too is just the fact that when my comments were disabled, I started looking like an absolute douche and I had people sending me emails because the thing is that I, of course, go for the clickbait titles. I, I'll admit to it, I'm bad for that. You know, it, it works, what can I say? Uh, and if I draw people in, that's what I'm trying to do. But if it looks like I'm just drawing you in and then there's no comments, it really looks like everything was completely just clickbait, ho ho, I got your view, get out of here. Whereas really what I'm after is let's draw you in and educate. It's not just here trying to get the view. I'm not trying to get money out of this. I'm trying to get you in so you can watch this and so we can learn from each other. But of course, if you come in, see no comments, oh, that Malorian, he's causing trouble, dislike, unsubscribe, whatever, right? That's not the idea I want to get across. So I wanted to make this video for two reasons. One, to let you know basically what I'm doing and why maybe you caught that small window where there were no comments allowed for this one day here, uh, but also kind of understanding what's going on because like I said, I'm a small fish, but this is really gonna be affecting the bigger fish. So if all of a sudden you're seeing your you know big channels that have millions of subscribers all of a sudden not have comments or changing their content, this is what it's all about. So just kind of an explanation for what's going on here and then maybe it's something you've seen in the larger world as well. So there you go. Uh, that's the end of this kind of like real talk type thing. And anyway, I guess you can talk down below because comments are back on. So we'll talk to you there. Bye.